Hi everyone, I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot for our weekly reading from Tuesday the 28th of November through to Sunday the 3rd of December. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective for anyone who views this video. There we have Tuesday the Five of Pentacles. Wednesday, the High Font. Thursday, the Temperance. Friday, the Empress. Saturday, the Ten of Wands. And Sunday, the Four of Swords. Okay, so Tuesday we have the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of, of lack, of us moving away from who we truly are. This card reminds us that we've moved out of our own centre. You can see they've moved away from the light. There's one on crutches needing support, looking for support. So on Tuesday, the energy of the full moon on Monday the 27th, still affecting us. Things coming to the surface that is creating some kind of feeling of loss or lack. Whatever we focus on that we haven't got, we start to go into that vibration. We go into that lower vibration of lack. So on Tuesday, things may be coming to the surface, still from the, the full moon. And Tuesday, the moon is still in Gemini. So we're still looking through that reflection as we always are, but it's, it's intensified just now. So when whoever we are looking into, they are a reflection of us. So whatever situations are invoking any kind of feelings within us, it's coming up to be released, not to go back into, to feel unsupported, to feel that lack, to feel isolated. So Tuesday a day and, and Chiron is, is beautifully communicating with the moon. Chiron in Aries, beautifully communicating with the moon on Tuesday, so helping us and assisting us through any any limiting beliefs that we may have. Looking around at where we may have fears of not having enough. To bring ourselves back into this present, back into this light and allowing the healing energy of Chiron who is in Aries and they are in the North Nodes. So helping us to heal the wounds of our I am presence today. So feeling the assistance, anything that may be arising, any fears, uh, finances or maybe even our health to really come back into that centre, to this light here. Not to wander outside of ourselves looking for something because everything we need is within us. And, and this is a card of the light worker because we do sometimes feel isolated. And it's to just keep honoring ourselves, regardless of what's going on in our outside world, to, to honor ourselves, to honor that divine intelligence that we have within us. Wednesday we have the hyphen and this is the card of Taurus and 
Uranus and Jupiter are in Taurus, this earth sign. So grounding that, that cosmic energy, grounding the Buddha consciousness, the, the enlightenment, coming into alignment with our higher self and anchoring it into our hearts. And you can see there, this is between two pillars. And again, this is where we're moving through from this time of the 1111 to the 1212, and then onto the solstice, the winter solstice on the 21st. So really anchoring our spiritual essence into our earthly body, doing our rituals, doing our self healing, using all our, uh, our, our healing modalities, whether it be flower remedies, oils. This is a very shamanic energy on Wednesday to go out and connect with Mother Nature, to, to really pick a rock or sit, sit with a tree or whatever it may be. I just feel on Wednesday is a day of really connecting at a deeper level with our spirituality. And as we look up in the sky, we see the moon and Jupiter is at the side of the moon shining down. So receiving the blessings of Jupiter, which is the Buddha consciousness, which is a very spiritual energy, spiritual enlightenment, connecting to our higher self, spending time going within. Thursday we have the temperance. And you can see there she has one foot in in the consciousness in the ocean and another on land and she's alchemizing so any lower energies any any painful emotions that have been brought to the surface from the full moon on monday we are able to alchemize them as we are moving and shifting transforming those lower thought forms into connecting to the higher thought the higher consciousness that that's bringing through those divine messages from the galactic core that are coming through with healing so the energy of the divine masculine and the divine feminine being cleansed and healed and as we merge into that beautiful balance and and not being tempted because of the energies that are being arising within us. Stepping back and not going into the old reactions to really pause and see what happens, to, to really look within at what's going on inside us instead of jumping into a reaction. Actually, coming in, feeling the uncomfortableness, breathing through it, allowing it to breathe through, allow it to work through our bodies in a way that we're not projecting it and we are not reacting because once that reaction is done, it's going to come back. It, there's consequences. The energy is one of, 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 bringing in that balance, closing those karmic cycles. So being aware that not going into the old reactions, the, the old thoughts, the, the way we would speak about something, actually coming back and speaking from a place within the deepest part of our hearts, alchemizing now the lower energies, untangling ourselves, from the temptation to go in and react, coming back, allowing those triggers to soften and just dissolve. And as they dissolve, we alchemize those sheep 
thoughts, emotions into pure gold and divine. Friday is the first day of December and we have the Empress. So the first card of the first of the of December, this signifies the energy of the month. So this is going to be a profound month of, of, of divine abundance, of fertility, of taking in this beautiful divine source energy and it fertilizing our creative ideas, our, our divine creations. So there's a, a wonderful energy on Friday as we move into the 1st of December and Venus, this is a card of Venus and Venus is in Libra. So bringing that beautiful balance into our relationships feel and a, an energy of joy coming through, such joy coming through. And wherever we have been blocked in our lives, it's shifting. Things starting to move now, energy picking up. Saturday we have the Ten of Wands, so not to take on too much because this energy comes in and it's almost like a rejuvenation of energy that, that we want to get moving but not take on too much, Rem reminding ourselves to stay in that place of peace being mindful of what we're taking on, not to be saying, agreeing to things where by the time we, it comes to taking out that action or stepping into whatever we've agreed to, we're overburdened because we're, we're taking on far too much. So reminding ourselves not to take on too much. This is the season of goodwill of happiness of joy not to burn ourselves out before we get to that place of the the the, the solstice the winter solstice the birth of the sun bringing our mind into that place of peace centering ourselves making sure that we are not taking on too much and overburdening ourselves whether it be work it could be anything wherever we tend to go out of balance it, this is the energy that's coming through to to just stay old of our one wand that's ours responsibility and letting go of the rest and then sunday we have a day of rest a day of healing on Sunday. So the the four of wands is the card after the three of wands. So we've been doing the heart healing. And and now it is a time of of rest Sunday, making sure Sunday we have that time of meditation of taking that day of rest there's so much going on in our outside world that can take us into different directions and to really step back and rest on Sunday have some time of just relaxation of letting go of everything our head is telling us that we need to do it will all get done and it will get done in a more joyous way when we let go of the pressure when we let go of the overthinking that everything outside of us during this time this seasonal time can really grab us to remember to recharge allow our body to rejuvenate and find that time of just complete peace remembering 
what this season's all about. So a wonderful weekly reading, reminding us to stay in that time of relaxation because when we rest, we have more energy to do and fulfill everything that we're meant to. When our head is constantly telling us what we need, what this person needs or whatever it may be, we are, we are using energy that will exhaust us, those thoughts will exhaust us. So Sunday, take that time out, lie, do something nice, light some incense, some oils around and spend time meditating and connecting to the divine, to Yoshua, to Jesus. This is the time of that sacred time of the birth of, of newness. So I'm sending so much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and sending so much healing to anyone who may need it. And thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you.